So after driving all day, we're now driving through this. She is snowy and it is uh, interesting to drive in. So I'm gonna pay some attention and I'll get back to you and get back to camp. Good morning, everyone. So this is my first ever camp in the 80 series in the snow. As you can see in the background, it's pretty white. Um, yeah, this is Dog's Grave. So we're gonna go and uh, check out the place and I'll uh, show you around a little bit. So Pete set up here in the uh, Super Tour 90 series. I'm just set up here in the swag in the 80. So pretty, pretty cool actually. Bloody cold, but it's cool. So let's go for a bit of a walk. There's fire pit someone had here. Obviously everything was too damp to light a fire. But I'll show you a little bit more on that in a minute. Again, picnic tables. Just a turn around the area to get out. It was pretty slippery getting in here. And I was told by Pete that uh, this is a bit of a ride up on why is this called Dog's Grave over here? So I'll go check it out. So it says my fingers are freezing. Oh, it's got a grave too. Very cool. Okay. So I'll just start here. There's a bit of a poem. Nineteen sixty-four. Okay. Don't have the whole story here, but this is the gravestone for the dog. Boney, his name was. Buried here about 1863, actually, by Peter Meehan, his master and the friend. So, just a little bit of a thing here. And this is the dog's grave. So, yeah. This man's best friend passed away, buried up here. This is why this is known as Dog's Grave. So, very cool. All right. Come back this way. It hasn't snowed overnight, but it's just white. Beautiful, actually. Loving it. Very crunchy. No one could sneak up on you at night. Um. Yeah, so... Over here is a hut that was built, we reckon, around 2016. It's pretty dark in there because I don't have my head torch on me at the moment. But, since it's starting to get light, because it's already 7 a.m. Oh, my hands. Got a bit of a fire going, if it's still going. No, it's not. All right. Well, this is a bit of a hut in here. It's pretty dark. Got chairs in here. I failed at the fire, but yeah, kind of a bit of a hut here. And our campsite, so yeah, pretty cool. Let's show you a bit more of a hut in here. So got a wood fire stove. And it heats this up really well. We had a go on last night. Obviously, people have uh, graffiti everywhere on the walls. It might be a name. This hut comes with a uh, solar lantern. Leave it here once you use it. Put it back in there. And there's just like an old uh, stretcher and boxes and stuff here. So, yeah, this is the hut. Pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll get this warmed up shortly. Minus three right now.
Good afternoon everyone. So we're here at Eagle Vale campsite and uh, yeah we come down from Dog's Grave yesterday and the drive down was pretty sketchy. Had a whole lot of uh, ice on the roads in the shady areas um, which is quite dangerous. A lot of slick mud. Um, yeah but we're here. So let's show you around the campsite. Give you an idea what it's like. It's quite peaceful. So I'm set up here. Um, on the river. So. So I'm back onto the river here. The one and gutter river. So pretty nice. Upstream is a river crossing which we've done over and back because we weren't there, don't need to go over that way. I've got another table set up here as well. And fire's going, heat set up over there. And yeah, it's just an all out nice campsite. Now they did say there was toilets here and we were like, where are they? Couldn't find them. And I just went, okay, went for a bit of a drive, a bit of a walk. Nope, still couldn't find them. We thought, well, we'll just set up here. Maybe they're not here. But over here, with no signage, is the long drop. So we'll go for a bit of a walk. And I'll uh, show you. So it's a nice little walk up here. So if you do want to bring your uh, girlfriend or your wife or or significant other out here. Um, this is one of the campsites that does have a toilet and it's pretty clean. So, so up here is the long drop. I'm gonna show you inside. Everyone knows what a toilet looks like. So that's a bit of an idea on uh, usage on campsites around here in the Alpine National Park. Feel free to pause and have a read on this one. Fires, no more than a metre by a metre. Three metres from where you camped. Use 20 litres of water to put your fire out when you leave, if it's not out. And uh, yeah, that's the campsite. So it's pretty decent. It's, it's uh, quiet. It's kind of right at the end where it Jump, jumps over into different tracks and stuff. So, and uh, yeah, we're going to be heading to Bullock's campground in the next one, and uh, hopefully, there's phone reception. Have a good one, catch you next time.